Hello everyone, it's Maddie and Madison with Spectrum Art. Wanted to share with you our file folder journal. And this is for fall, so this is what we've come up with. And uh, before I actually get into it, just wanted to explain that the way we did that is we grabbed a file folder, a white one in this case, but it could be any color, because um, you can always gesso it, of course. Uh, or I'll share with you actually that we ended up not gessoing it and doing it differently. But all we did was we folded this in half this way, okay? And then of course we glued down the sides and thus it created two big pockets on the top, which I'll show you in a second. But the first thing we did was we went ahead and used distress oxides on this. And at first, since this was white, we decided we were gonna try and go directly on to this as a canvas. And unfortunately, it didn't really work. Um, the paper absorbed way too much because um, we didn't gesso it, and maybe that's where we went wrong. Um, so you might wanna gesso yours. Uh, and also, we just didn't like um, the thickness of it. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna do it a little bit differently. We grabbed some Strasmore, you know, art paper. I can't even remember, nothing special. It wasn't watercolor paper or anything like that. I think it was called Smooth Surface. Or actually, we might have even just used cardstock. But again, just plain cardstock white paper will do. Uh, we didn't gesso it at all. Uh, we went ahead and uh, then used the oxides onto it. And then we took that paper and we glued it onto here. Um, now the paper only came up to about here, so then this piece was missing. So this we actually, and you can actually kind of see where the paper line is there, um, we went ahead and also distressed um, an oxide, oxided? <laughs> I guess that's a word, oxided, oxide. Um, this piece right here so that it would actually match. And it does seem pretty, you know, seamless as far as the process um, with the color goes. Okay, so that is how we created the actual base for this journal. Now, Madison, you wanna tell us what it is that, well, I already shared that you went ahead and oxide the paper and that we glued on. What else do we have in the front cover, please? What did you use? Um, let me tell them. I put the flower. The flower. Okay, so actually, well, who did all this? Of course I did. Of course you did. I like that. Of course I did. Um, and it turned out very sweet, uh, in my opinion. She's got some fall leaves. Oh, and this little pocket, right? It's like a little pocket. And this has got an embossed um, image of a tree. Look how cute that is. And it's got writing, yes it is very pretty. It's got writing in the um, writing spots on the back if you wanted to, but anything could go in here. It's like a little hidden pocket. And I just kind of left that sticking out so we could you know, be able to tell, but you can always just tuck it in and it'll be a nice hidden little pocket in the front. Um, we've got, you are the bright orange of pumpkins growing in a field. Oh, yes. Um, and then it's got a little bow and some buttons and, and little heart gems and a flower a clothespin, a mini clothespin, some twine and some tool and she's distressed all these leaves that were cut out by hand. Um, what else you got back here? Oh, um, this really pretty, pretty ribbon. It actually is like an ombre effect. It goes from like red to orange to yellow. Um, so it kind of blends in in there. Uh, what else do we have in here, Madison? Yes, this beautiful button. It's a golden one. Let me make sure that I am in frame. I hope so. Okay, and what else? Anything else? Oh, a little hidden bird there. Peekaboo. There he is. And what was, uh huh, the twine. And the, I said the clothespin. Yep, I think that's it, right? Oh, and your, um, she was really happy with this. This is really neat. It's actually, let me see if I can bring a little bit more light. Hopefully, it doesn't cost too much glare. But this is a leather button. Uh, I had never seen one like that, so that was kind of neat. She found that in our stash. Uh, so it's like a leather button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and some other ones back here, right? So this is the front cover and then what you use here? So onto the ribbon part. The ribbon, mm -hmm. So she went ahead and we glued, she picked out the ribbon, I went ahead and glued it here and it goes all the way around and that's how we close our journal. And then um, also used it to reinforce the spine. It's very silky and smooth and rich colors, but it also helps not only to reinforce the spine, but also to hide the uh, the threads from the signature. Not that they're totally like obvious, but you know, again, it just kind of lends that very clean look. 
went around in this dress with brown and black on all the edges. And let's get to the inside. Let's take a look. So you did a very good job, honey, on that. I love that. Thanks. Okay, so what, what you do on the inside? Tell us. So, if you know, in the last video, we really fully answer this. Well, I don't think we did it on a video. I think we were talking to some of the girls. I don't think it was a live either. It was a live. It was? So, well, we'll see. If it was a live, I will go ahead and actually link that video uh, below. But I could have sworn it was just, you know, a hangouts. And we were just kind of talking and we were crafting at the same time. But this is a really neat little, you know, journaling spot. And it's got the front and the back. Big old pocket on the inside. There is that big pocket that I spoke of also here. Um, when we went ahead and stitched our um, signatures in, it kind of closed that off. And then, of course, like I said, we glued the edges. But there's a huge journaling card there. And there's one on the other side as well. Okay, and then what did you do with the, all the ephemera? Yes, I'll show those in a second. But what did you do with the ephemera, the pack? Um... You put, you include, I designed all the ephemera on papers. You designed all the ephemera on the paper. Okay, so you picked the placement is what you're saying. Yes, you were the designer. So she went through, and we used this one. Um, this is, well, there's hardly anything left now. There's only a couple of pieces, but it's the boat Bow Bunny Noteworthy, and it came with all that yumminess there. And she went ahead and went through the pages and, you know, decided the placement on those. Now, the pages that we use are single sided. Well, it's a different, you know, it's different pages. It's not from any, you know, pack or anything. She just kind of went through and picked colors that she thought would be fall, like the yellow, the orange, the greens, the browns. And they were single sided. Most of them were. So um, she went ahead and actually sprayed the backs. And we'll show that in a second. But um, so she went ahead and did the placement. This is a little tuck spot. Oh, you wanted to show this. Okay, so these are book pages. And I know that a lot of us um, love to get these books and try to utilize all the pages. Sometimes we use just the covers um, to make uh, junk journals and whatnot. And then we've got all these pages and we're trying to find ways to utilize them to not waste them. Well, this is a great way of doing it. It's just mounting them on cardstock and um, obviously distressing it. Then we went ahead and at first, um, let me see if I got some leftover ones. At first, she um, had used, what did she use for the for the backs? It was an oxide. What did she use? Oh, distress stains. Distress stains um, for the backs like this. And it was beautiful colors, but um, you could still see a lot of the writing. So then we went ahead and gessoed, and you could still see some of the writing. So then we went ahead and stamped, and we used a um, large block stamp. Uh, and we used um, the archival inks in yellow, orange, green, and red, yes. And so we went ahead and stamped that, and as you can see now, it really covers that writing, and it allows for someone to write over it. Um, two other reasons why we do that is, number one, once again, you can journal on this, or you can mount a picture or anything, memorabilia, you know, some tickets uh, from the fall festival, whatever it is that you wanna do with it. But the other thing is, I am really not gonna go through every single page and actually read every word um, that's on there. And I definitely don't want anything um, objective or offensive or questionable to actually end up in one of the things that we actually do. So, you know, with that being said, I wanna make sure that the writing kind of peeks through but not really can be seen. And so that's why we did that process. So the process was, once again, the stains, then some gesso, and then some stamping. And you can see how now it turned out really, really, really cute. So, good job on those. Okay, so let's go through this. So we've got that page. Then we've got a gorgeous sunflower. Some orange, green, brown paper, really pretty. Oh, I was gonna share with them the back. Um, again, these were single-sided sheets. So the back obviously is just plain white. In order to get rid of that, she went ahead and sprayed. And what sprays did she use here? Um, homemade paint. Homemade. Oh, sprays. Homemade sprays, right? The dilution. The Which one? Di oh, dilution. Dilution sprays. So she used dilution sprays. And, um, and what else? Uh -huh. And they're from Ranger. 
they are from Ranger, okay. And oh, you also used um, the mists, the um, shimmer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you better bring them. I can't think. Um, Tattered Angels, that's what it is. Um, so, share. You want to share them with us? I don't know that these are the colors, but anyway, it's a glimmer mist. That's what it is from Tattered Angels. So she used homemade sprays and dilution sprays and those um, to age these pages. And still, again, you can write on them because, you know, there's no... Oh, don't crunch that anymore, honey. It's kind of loud. It's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's not like the colors are saturated or very deep that you couldn't see a black pen or any kind of pen that you wanted to use on these so but they do look aged and they're not just plain white um, so here's this next page this is the pumpkin Kentucky field card seed and company in Fredonia New York I wonder if that's an actual place Fredonia New York I'll have to look that up and here's another one of those journal cards go on to the next page we've got a beautiful banner and then this little I guess fairy boy could be a girl not gender specific I guess um, and of course a great opportunity for you to write whatever heading you want on there I love this page it almost looks like it's coffee stained I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks almost coffee stained and it's not it was actually done with paints um, so definitely didn't require baking and all that but it gave a very similar effect here's another card and oh this space right here and again an opportunity to write a heading or a thought of the day or a favorite quote here's another one of those cards on the paper tuck spot with a butterfly a belly band that says precious moments another one of those cards here we've got a little envelope and on this side as well tuck spot right here top banners this one opens up oh and a gorgeous fairy with a pine cone dress can you guys see that she's so cute look at her little skirt and that gorgeous long hair flowing in the wind another sunflower another big journal card in an area to write some thoughts or ideas. This is a side thing. And this is a paper clip, um, which of course can be used anywhere on any page to hold anything. I like that one. That one's got some green on it. That's pretty. And here we have one on this side with a little, I guess another fairy peeking out from behind the sunflowers. Oh, this one's got a lot of that glimmer spray. That's pretty. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell the sheen on it. Colors of fall. Yes, they are. These are all the colors of fall. Some more brown and butterfly. Another opportunity for some thoughts. This one is in. Writing pictures here, 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 and then all of this as well in a side pocket. And then we've got another removable paper clip right here, and another one of those little spots. Look at that cute mushroom. I love this one. But then again, I'm partial because for those of you who know me, know that I absolutely adore Alice in Wonderland and anything to do with it. So mushrooms, um, you know, always remind me of that. And here's another one. I like this one, like plaid, makes me think of fall for sure. Flannel, little acorn, beautiful butterfly. This one looks like it's actually woven texture. Um, it's paper, but it just gives that 3D illusion. It's very, very pretty. That was a pretty one, Madison. Oh, here's another really cute. This one's adorable, Ida, sweet as apple cider. Oh, that was perfect. What did we make this past weekend, Madison? Apple cider. We did. We actually made a huge um, crock pot of um, apple cider, and I think it's all gone. Is it all gone? It is. She's nodding. Oh, yeah, it's gone. I know whose belly that went into. Mine. <laughs> yes, it did. 
Um, so yeah, both of my kids love apple cider, homemade that is. Um, so we make it from scratch and it turned out really cute, really good. And so there's that. You tell me, you tell me your dream. That sounds like a cute song. Some journaling there. This is a, oh, this is another removable paper clip. It's got a nice butterfly on it. Remember this. That's a pull out right there. And then here we have another one of those big ones. It says Squash Boston Marrow. And then it says, again, the card seed company from Fredonia, New York. So if anybody knows if there's a Fredonia, New York, let me know. Um, I love that orange. Oh, this is a really nice, this is the big one um, in the pack. It's like humongous, if you can tell. But it's a really nice big, and it fit perfect on the page. Look at that. It's like it was meant to be on this page. And that was just, you know, one of those happy, you know, coincidences in the world. Oh, there's a fairy again. Look at her and the mushroom. Oh, actually, it's like all the elements put together. And it says Autumn Adventures. And a nice big card. Anything could fit in here. I mean, look at the size of that pocket, you know. And then another spot here. Oh, this one says sweater weather, pumpkin pie, and falling leaves with some beautiful butterflies. And that flips up to reveal even more room. Here's a bigger one of those pockets. Here's another one of those journaling cards. And these can be removed from here and used anywhere, even punched out and given as, you know, tags and gifts uh, or backgrounds for anything. Oh, look in here is this green one. I like this one. Oh, that matches so cute with this, Madison. It does. It does. Good job. Look at that. Here's another little cute fairy and more of that speckled paper that looks almost like it's been a coffee dyed and put in the oven. Another butterfly. And then here's that other side. This one, of course, is a different design than that but still within the same color scheme. Uh, and so you've got all this room to write, all this room, and then all of this with coordinating washies on the top and bottom flap and distressed around the edges. Uh, and then there's that other big, you know, tag here in the back. And so lots and lots of room to write and put all your fall memories or thoughts or maybe plans for the upcoming Christmas season. Maybe, a you know, something you want to do, a page every year uh, to remind you of where you were in the fall. So this could be done in any theme, of course. Uh, remember, it is a file folder that we've used, so any theme will do. But hopefully this has gotten you into uh, the spirit of fall. Um, and I know it is for us because, you know, we're still, we're in Florida and it's still pretty hot here. Um, you know, we're at the end of September and it's still pretty warm, surprisingly, for this time of year even. And um, so this really got us thinking about apple cider and sweaters and hay rides. And the most important thing to remember, and we always try to convey that, guys, is that anyone can do this. Anyone can craft. No matter what your level, no matter what your supplies, you don't need to have oxides. All you need is a file folder and some paints. Uh, it could be anything from, you know, finger paint for kids to acrylics to anything, even food coloring, because you can actually use food coloring. Madison's done some really cute um, paper with food coloring in the past. Um, and then you just glue it onto the actual file folder, create some pockets out of anything you have, including those book pages um, like we showed you. And you know, you got plenty of stuff left over to make some tags and all kinds of other um, goodies. But whatever you have at hand will work. Whatever your level is will work. And we always try to you know, remind you guys that that is the whole idea why we like to share this stuff with you. If you do not have a bow bunny pack, no big deal because remember you do have magazines and you do have junk mail and this time of year they're all full of images that you can cut out whether it's leaves or somebody wearing a sweater anything you have at hand and even if you don't have anything guess what you don't have to put embellishments throughout you know stuff like this you could find recycled your you know old buttons and maybe an old clothespin and you know just some fabric or twine that you might have laying around and some old um you know ribbon from anything from an old gift or from you know maybe some hair ties or whatever you had around 
anyone, any level, any supplies can do this. Uh, and that's the message that we hope to always convey to you guys. Um, that's why we love to create, that's why we love to share, is to, to remind everyone that we are, uh, we are all artists on different levels. Uh, and, and so the idea is just to create something, to go out there and, and be inspired and inspire others. And you know guys, I would love for you guys to share. Share with us if you did create one. Share with us if, um, if you found any of the tips useful. But we love having you here and we will be back soon with even more ideas. So we thank you once again for joining us and we hope that you guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.